Hi Moglets! Today we're going to be maxing the Polar Star. Unfortunately, this might take a little while as uh, we need to farm the new enemies. As usual, there will be timestamps if you want to skip the raising and the farming bits. Uh, that's fine by me. Uh, first of all, we're just going to start by raising it as much as we can. Uh, yes, and it's going to take a little while because uh, these new enemies that just appeared with the new island, this is what we need to raise it. Uh, we did farm all of the other things we need, so the, um, you know, these little skull guys, <laughs> I mean, they're masks, whatever. Uh, oh, and specters, I didn't even see that. Oh god, why does everything need specters? Bones, unfortunately, has not even started on the new island yet, so we can't really farm her world unless we go nag her and be like, hey, go play and <laughs> get to the world so I can farm your uh, dudes because she wasn't going for this bow. She doesn't really need those right now. Anyway, here we are going up to level 40. Uh, there we go with that. We, we should have at least all of the um, masks we need. I didn't even know we were going to run into specter problems. Jeez, man. There we go at level 60 anyway. And we're out of the claws and the specters. Why? Well, let's go to the crafting station and use all the little ones we have, at least. I think we're actually doing better on the new enemy drops than specters. Because we already needed specters for, like, everything Kokomi related. So there was that. And I didn't really farm more than I needed to because I hate farming those things. We do have a couple, but oh my god, we're gonna have to farm those also. Yeah, we can't even get the fourth star. I'm gonna check the shop and see if we've already purchased everything out of there. Well, we can buy 75 of these. <laughs> but oh my god, 50 of those. The these are valuable. Holy hell. And we can also get these. I would, like, like even as someone who spends money in the game, that seems like n I shouldn't do that. Let's see what we have here. I mean, we have 12,000 Masterless Stardust, so... Oh, well, we should at least get these. And, of course, all the stuff that's actually worth your Stardust. First, there we go. We still have 9,900, and there's nothing else you can really buy here, so... I think I still have plenty of dust, so... We're gonna grab these, because these guys seem very uh, sparse. There's not very many of them. Unf oh yeah, we do have some spectral hearts here. We're gonna grab all of them, really? Yeah, I guess. And some smaller ones down here. Yeah, we we gotta do it. Even if I go farm them, we probably still won't have enough. We're gonna grab these as well. I feel like... I feel so dirty doing this, honestly. Like, this is free stuff you can farm. And it's not only about laziness, I just don't think we'd be able to do this today uh, without the help from the shop there. So before we go check our progress, we're going to go back to the crafting and get the rest of these that we purchased. We're also getting like no bonus from Sucrose. Well, we got one there. Okay. It is currently on Ganyu just because I think it looks the best on her. It looks so good on Ganyu. So we could get that fourth star now. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and enhance it. And we're stuck again, but we still can craft these real quick. So let's do that. Now we only need the purple talons. Got to make sure we have the right stuff here. I don't know if I even did before. Whoops. That's probably why we weren't getting any bonus. I don't know why that always gets reset. I guess because it's like a new item, but why? Why, why not just keep the... And I believe we only need the blue ones now here as well, so... Yeah, alright. So, we are ready to go to the fifth star, and I guess we are forced to farm the rest, and maybe there is enough. I don't know yet. Oh my god, we need 24 purple talons! I don't know if that's gonna work, honestly. The spectral stuff, yeah, it should. So I am using the interactive map, but I think the in-game thing... Even though it usually doesn't show every location of the enemies, I think in this case it actually does because there are so few. We're going to start with the uh, handbook, just going to Elite Enemies and down here, Wolves of the Rift. Uh, this one is not even on the interactive map, so I guess you uh, should do both. Yeah, there is nothing here. Will be interesting to overlap. This one down here is on the interactive map, or these two, I should say. Oh yeah, we need specters also. I guess when we come across them, we may as well. Thankfully, we don't need as much of them. The uh, wolves actually drop a lot of their materials as well, so that is nice. Unlike the specters, which drop almost nothing ever. Like, we got five green ones and two blue ones there. That is pretty sick. I'm not grabbing chests on purpose, so don't scream at me too much. There we got a purple, three green, and a blue. And from the big one, okay, we only got five greens and a blue. So far, there was only that one in the beginning that wasn't on the interactive map, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm really looking forward to my C1 Hu Tao. I hate running out of stamina. Should be a group of two over here. Yes, there they are. But yeah, funnily enough, the uh, in-game interactive map locations 
are actually better than the interactive map. We'll see how long it keeps giving us uh, enemy locations, though. Oh, is this the last one? Because I don't see any more. Yeah, so it says they're all dead, but the interactive map actually does have a few more locations. I guess it does only give you a certain number of them. They should be right around here. Uh, I guess they could be in that underground place as well. Yeah, I do distinctly remember wolves here, like, on these, uh, stairs, but they're not here anymore. Oh, that's right, I did kill them today. I came back down here for the last Electroculus, uh, earlier today. Uh, yeah, okay, so I killed those. I've been looking around here for ten minutes for nothing. There are still, like, a big group of them that, uh, the game didn't show us. Down here on this, uh, small southern island over there. Yeah, I see them. A big pup with his three puppies. And our spoils, six, green, two more green, I got a purple in there. But yeah, I think that was really it. So there really aren't that many at all. And yeah, if you really wanna find all of them, I, you should use actually both the interactive map and the in-game stuff, because like I said, at least for now, there was one like around here where th th there is none on the interactive map. So I digress, let's see how many we have. Wow, just from that run, we got 64 greens. Dang, okay, so there aren't very many, but they drop a l really a lot. Okay, that's actually cool. I like that a lot more than the specters where you have to fight 500 of them to get like one green drop to drop. We might have enough here, maybe. We already have six of those plus four. No, I don't think that's enough. I think we'll need like seven more. So maybe we can join Bones Roll a little later. Seven more of each here. Guess we're gonna start with the specters. One, one gray spectral husk. You see, this is what I'm talking about. And one more. Given all the circumstances, I would say they are the most annoying material to farm. They float, they take forever to finally explode, they leave behind this crap that kills you, and then they drop nothing. And recently I've needed them for like everything, but it's fine. I'm done complaining. I've even seen some of them drop nothing, actually nothing. So I got one green one from that entire battle. I mean, I know it's because they're not elite enemies and that's just how it is like with them and slimes and treasure hoarders and whatever. But let me ask you this. What other elite enemy cannot be sucked together with, with uh, Vinti's Q? These guys did no effect. I mean, look at this, what am I supposed to do? I either have to switch to a bow character or just stand way out here so he comes forward a little bit so I can get one more hit before he backs up into the ocean again. We did get a spectral nucleus, the blue one. Gotta be happy about that. Ooh, and another one. This one though, I think I'm just gonna run away from. I, I don't wanna deal with you. Another blue one. Okay, man, maybe complaining actually works. We got like three blue ones in a row, let's go. Give us some bonus, Sucrose. And I don't think we needed more than 10. And we got three bonus from Sucrose, let's go. Okay, we are more than done with the specters, thankfully, but yeah, that's gonna be an issue. All right, we've made it into Bones World. She hasn't really done much except get to the island and activate the Statue of the Seven, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, oh no, wait, we're gonna get lost in the fog. Well, our resin has just reached cap, so while she is going a little bit further in the quest, we're gonna use some resin on more ley lines because maybe they will eventually go down here and with there, there will be wolves popping out. So I've done nine ley lines already and it and it's going through its typical rotation, so I, it, and yeah, like maybe it might eventually go over there, but it's gonna take like probably nine more. Oh wait, bones might be done. Let's try and join. Nice, the fog is cleared. All right, first stop down here, there should be a bundle of like four, I think. Wait, what? Why aren't they here anymore? These are just regular enemies. All right, so we farmed, I would say most of them, most of the easy ones. There are still maybe a couple around, but I'm gonna check, oh man, we need like one more. Sucrose bonus, please? No. Oh wait, no, I think that's enough. We probably got a actual purple drop. Yes, we have enough. Let's go ahead and ascend it. There we go. Last star, use that, oh, we're st we still need to get, <laughs> get some more of those. But there we go, average base attack, 33 crit rate. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Dang, this has some nice refinements though. It goes from 48 to 
at max stacks, attack boost, and then of course just the skill and burst gets uh, three percent more as well. But all right, now I suppose we're going to try it on a few different characters. I do actually want to start with Ganyu, who we've had it equipped on the whole time, and I think I am going to stick with the freezing Blizzard Strayer Ganyu. Someone in my stream said it's not as good for freezing Ganyu; it's more for Melt Ganyu. While she doesn't really need that much crit rate for Blizzard Strayer, you can definitely ignore all crit rate subs for her artifacts, and then that 33 will be basically enough. Uh, you know, for the Blizzard Strayer. But with, you know, a main DPS gone, you she's going to be doing charged attacks. You can throw a normal attack in there just to proc the uh, 12 second stack. And she's, you know, going to be out doing her skill and burst anyway. So she can easily, as a main DPS, get all the stacks. But as a support, you know, you mainly swap out to do her E and Q and then swap to someone else. You're not going to stop to do a charged and basic attacks, I guess. And, uh, you know, 48% is a lot different than 20% that you would get just from her skill and burst. So I think that's what we're going to start with first. Let's get a nice team to complement her, including Zhongli, of course. Xingqiu is a little weird with Ganyu because Ganyu does need to do a basic attack, I believe. It doesn't proc with charge as far as I know, but I haven't really paid attention. So we will also keep Binny because Ganyu is a bow character and C6 doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and continue on some ley lines to test that out. So we're just gonna start with the typical stuff, you know, Get a sing show in there, blah blah blah, and then go do Ganyu E and Q, get those first stacks, a basic real quick, and then here we go, 41k, I don't think I've seen that high from Ganyu before, my Ganyu at least, I know there are some in in insane Ganyus, but I'm, I can only really compare to myself because that's the sort of gear I have. Also, I didn't even check her attributes, I mean we don't really need that much crit rate honestly, because we can only get a maximum of like... 40% unless we have another cryo on the team, which we don't and I don't really plan to have another cryo So it would still be like a maximum of around 90% crit rate, which wouldn't be that bad actually I'm pretty sure most of our artifacts uh, focus heavily on crit damage still So it's not like we're you know wasting a lot of stats here. This is just a bad goblet So I think her stats are actually fine. She's she is doing some solid damage. Let's do one more ley line here Oh, yeah, hold on. I want to test so for basic, it does work. Yeah, I don't think I saw Singcho's blades going. I think it really does only work with, with basics, which is a little annoying, but it actually does make sense for the uh, set though. Cause like, yeah, you do need to do a basic to get one of those stacks, right? Specifically for freezing, Kokomi with her E might be a little bit better actually. Uh, because, you know, you only need to do a basic attack once every 12 seconds. And since I am a practitioner, we are going to try exactly that. I don't know if she's built perfectly correctly right now, but that doesn't matter. So in this case, we're going to start with uh, Zhongli Q. Try and get Binny's ult in here. Go ahead and do that. Kokomi. And then uh, to her, we can do one basic for the ult. So we should have three stacks right now. The last stack will come with this first charged. There we go. Nice 41k. Hit them, 43k. We might be missing a stack or two right, right right now. 25k. I think Kokomi's E is gone. We could try and refresh that, but yeah. Whenever I'm trying new, like, rotations and stuff, it always takes me a little bit to get the actual uh, hang of it, you know? So yeah, I think that would actually work out a little bit better than uh, Sing Cho, unless you stay really close to them, because his little water blades, I believe, also apply uh, Hydro. Yeah, he's applied with Hydro, but you'd have to be like really close, you know, like basically on top of them. I mean, that does work, I guess. With Zhongli shield, you don't really have to care about getting interrupted. So I'd say it's perfectly fine for Ganyu, Freeze, or Melt. Skyward Harp with its higher base attack and lower crit rate might be slightly better, but I mean, this is 48% attack and 12% skill and burst. So I don't know. I think they're pretty comparable. Quite sure the 48% attack will give more than it lacks in base attack from Skyward. I have a couple other characters I wanted to try when I first read the description of the bow. I thought it was gonna be a child bow and child is the one currently in the banner. Uh, mine is unfortunately only level 80. So regardless of what I do, it's not going to be super impressive. Child is doing all this stuff naturally. Normals, charged, skills, bursts. Unlike Ganyu, where her normal attacks are a little bit out of place, at least she's just a charge attack machine. I was always just using him as a sub DPS, which is why his uh, basic is so, so uh, short. And also, you know, I don't play with him super often, so um, we'll raise that a little bit. 
But uh, yeah, just to give you an idea, his talents are super low. I believe Ganyu's are quite high, actually. Yeah, her basic is nine. So try not to compare too much. It actually does look a bit better on Child now that it has been ascended and it's kind of, you know, a different-ish color. Wow, he has a really good Hydro Damage Goblet on right now. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna keep him in this. It's obviously the off piece though. Well, I think I will keep him in more or less a broken set plus a little bit of elements of mastery because I do want to try some uh, vaporize. Current stats are a little modest, you know, 62 crit rate, 182 crit damage. Might want a little more crit rate, but whatever. 248 elements of mastery. Yeah, whatever, it, a pretty basic build. I think like four piece heart of depth would be good, but I don't have any of those raised except for Kokomi and they're obviously substat wise are not gonna be good for child. So a very mediocre child with a good bow. Let's see how that works. I think I'll try this team with Shanling so we can get some easier vaporize. It's gonna be a little hard to get uh, Shanling's burst, I guess, though. <laughs> We're gonna just start everything up here real quick and go into a uh, child's burst mode. Do a charge attack here real quick and then start with his burst. Okay, yeah, that wasn't super impressive. I don't know if it was even a vaporize. I mean, I guess for my child, it wasn't super bad, but yeah. I would also like to see if those attack boosts are reflected in his stats. 2131? Well, let's see here. We're gonna do a basic. So that definitely hit, and now we are at 2200. We were at 21 previously. We got 23 because Zhongli, I did his pillar, and that gives us an attack boost, but whatever. So 24. Let's refresh the... F let's Let's refresh the first stack so we don't lose that. Still at 24. Now let's do his E. That does have a small area. You just need to make sure you're close to the enemy. I do apologize. I'm not that familiar with child, but yeah. Stance change damage 101. So that works. Let's go ahead and try the uh, whole thing over again. I guess here. Uh, use this. Get all the basic stuff going on. There's a charge attack. I mean, you know, his damage itself is... I guess let's just try the burst. Yeah, there was a 128, obviously much better. That may have been a vaporize. It is still a bit of a problem that I can't properly like set up because <laughs> the enemies die too fast just for my supports. I would like to see what his attack is at complete base. Really, it's still 2100? Why is it so high? All right, let's try this again. Gonna go ahead and do this. Get his burst, swap. Uh, did I do that? No, I didn't. Why can't I do the- oh, it's still on cooldown. How annoying. Uh, well, I mean, his basic attacks, even without, I think, any buffs, were doing some pretty solid damage. I think I saw, like, a 9k charged in there, something like that. I guess enough with Child, and I'm gonna make absolutely sure that Yoimiya's E does not do damage. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, though. The Blazing Arrow damage is, of course, increased, but that, I believe, is still considered her basic attack. So, and then with Yoimiya, you would need to do a charged as well, which, why would you do a charged attack? So I don't think it would suit Yoimiya that well. Thundering Pulse, I think, is way better. Venti could get all stacks relatively easily. You would need to do one charged attack in there as well every 12 seconds, but he's not really a DPS. I think the stats would be a little wasted on him. Same with Sara. I mainly use Sara as a buffer, so giving her the highest base attack bow I have is going to be better than... Polar Star. Again, she could get all stacks relatively easily, especially because once you do her E, her next charge shot is actually rather fast. So she could get all stacks very fast, but I don't know if anyone uses Sara as a main DPS. If so, then uh, yeah, I guess. Diona, no. Personally, wouldn't really give it to Fischl either. Uh, I would mainly use her for her E and the sort of combo attacks from Oz. Amber, I, I don't even... I'm also not sure about Aloy. We just now got her. I haven't looked into her at all. Aloy m seems like she might be able to be a main DPS because uh, when she gets these four coil stacks, it buffs her normal attacks to do cryo damage. So perhaps? But yeah, haven't even started building her yet. So there's that. I'd say very good for Child. Obviously, I mean, he is in the banner. Makes sense to me. For Ganyu, I'd say it's perfectly fine, either as freeze or melt comps. But if you do have something like a Skyward Harp, I wouldn't bother trying to get it for her specifically. Uh, it wouldn't be much of an upgrade, if an upgrade at all. So, But I suppose that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to leave your own thoughts in the comments down below. Who do you think it is best in slot for? I would think it's actually slightly better for main DPS Ganyu, honestly, because you don't have to go out of your way to do a charge shot, which you wouldn't really do with a support Ganyu. But yeah, that's what I think anyway. Drop any thoughts, comments down below, liking, subscribing, all good stuff. Thank you very much. It's appreciated. And watching. Thank you for watching.
And until next time.